like to call the meeting to order. Mrs. Burns, roll call. Mr. Sullivan? Present. Mr. Parentano? Present. Mr. Allen? Present. Mrs. Bowman? Here. Ms. Boyle? Here. Mr. Feather is absent with prior notice. Mrs. Hallenbeck? Present. Mr. Kovitz? Here. Mr. Marrington? Here. We have a quorum. Thank you. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. No announcements. I have one announcement. It's with great sadness that I share that Ms. Mrs. Janet Doherty, teacher, advisor, leader, mentor, coach, colleague, and friend, passed away unexpectedly on Saturday, September 28th. For 20 years, Janet was an enthusiastic advocate for business education. Under her leadership, the Chamonix High School introduced courses such as entrepreneur, entrepreneurship, macro and microeconomics, and business analytics. Mrs. Doherty was recognized as the Educator of the Year in 2013 by the Pennsylvania Business Educators Association. Janet's passion extended beyond the classrooms in the Chamonix as the past advisor of the Future Business Leaders of America organization, and most recently as an assistant field hockey coach in the Chamonix High School, where she was affectionately known as Coach Doc. Thousands of the Chamonix students and families have been impacted by Janet's gentle, kind soul. I ask that you observe a moment of silent support in support of Mrs. Doherty's family, friends, students, and colleagues. Thank you. I just wanted to note, in honor of Ms. Do Mrs. Doherty, her colleagues have organized a campaign to fill the silo food pantries that Janet began in 2017 with her entrepreneurship classes at Nishamity High School and Pequesting Middle School. Donations to the silo will be accepted at all in the Chamonix schools. Okay. Mr. Meehan, Superintendent's Report. Good evening. I'm sitting in for Superintendent Jones, who's in a conference this week. Each month, the boardroom highlights one of our school buildings and recognizes featured artwork of students. This year, we kick off the theme with the artwork theme, highlighting sample art projects from Carl Sandburg Middle School. Student artwork around the room is presented by art teacher Brett Wallerstein. October is Fire Prevention Month. October is National Fire Prevention Month. Protect your family and take time to develop a fire escape plan in your homes. Change batteries and test your home's smoke and CO2 detectors. I'll be doing that this weekend. Our local firehouses will We'll be having open houses throughout this month, October, for our families to meet volunteer firefighters, discuss fire safety procedures. These same fire officials will be visiting our elementary schools throughout the month, teaching the importance of fire safety. Tour of Honor. Our local war, World War II and Korean War veterans visited Washington, D.C. today as part of our Bucks County Tour of Honor, visiting various war memorials in Washington, D.C. They left early this morning from Parks Casino in Ben Salem, where they were escorted by fire, police, and veterans groups. The veterans will be returning home with a memorable welcome back celebration and a dinner, as well as being gre greeted by the Nishami High School Marching Band. Veterans Day Ceremony. Maple Point Middle School eighth, grade, eighth graders who would normally be here tonight to personally inform the board and the school community about the annual Veteran Day Ceremony. They could not be here tonight because they are partaking in, in today's honor in Washington, D.C. as well. So on behalf of the eighth graders and the eighth grade teachers, I would like to inform you that Maple Point Middle School will be holding its annual Veterans Day Ceremony on Friday, November 8th. This is a wonderful way for our students and the community to show appreciation for the sacrifices that our local veterans have made and celebrate their courage in defending our country. 
Maple Point staff and students would like to invite veterans in our community to attend the celebration at Maple Point Middle School on November 8th. Attendees should arrive in the auditorium lobby at 1215 for refreshments and registration. The ceremony will begin at 1 p.m. Veterans who are interested in attending should contact Maple Point Middle School and register in the main office. The Chamonix We Build Future Awards. This award is presented to district employees who work to accomplish the district's mission and make significant contributions towards advancing the implementation of the di district's strategic plan. Recently, following were recognized with the Neshaminy We Build Futures pin. Justin Bursk, art teacher at Herbert Hoover. Jesse Graber, community volunteer and photographer Kimberly Maddy, elementary school teacher at Herbert Hoover, and Marcel Morales, math teacher at Carl Sandburg. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Main. Uh, this month uh, on Board Docs, there's, uh, the reports are from the Director of People Services, Anthony Devlin. It's the semi-annual report, so if uh, you want to log on to Board Docs and take a look at that, uh, you're welcome to it. Uh, that brings us to our first public comment period. Um, Mrs. Burns? There were no assignments. Okay. All right. That brings us to our next section. Items for approval at the public board meeting. Uh, 2.01 budget transfers. 2.02 .02 overnight trips. 2.03 homebound instruction. 2.04 out of district placements. And 2.05 American Education Week. Rolling right along, that brings us into our committee reports. Mrs. Hollenbeck, business operations. Our next business operations meeting is November 20th, 6.30 here in this room. We will be discussing the budget further. So all are welcome to come out and talk. Thank you. Thank you. Mrs. Boyle, educational development. Okay, the, um, the education development meeting, which is, which, is, which is currently scheduled for October 15th, is going to be rescheduled. Um, uh, topics to be discussed at that time are standardized assessment results, future ready index updates, and 2019-2020 curriculum and instruction initiatives. Not yet, no. To be determined. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Uh, facilities and planning. Our next meeting is November 20th at the high school, and our most recent meeting, which I guess was Two or three. That's what facilities and planning. They're going to do both the finance and facilities and planning on November 20th? Business operations November 21. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. The 21, not 20. Sorry. Right. We can sorry. do them both. That's okay. Um, and our last uh, facilities planning meeting, uh, I guess the highlight of that meeting was that we turned down the Verizon cell tower at Poquessing Middle School. Um, and, and we, all right, <laughs> let that go, let that go, please. <laughs> that brings us to policy, Mrs. Boyle. <laughs> um, the next um, board policy committee will meet on October 29th and continue their work on the PSBA board policy adoption. Um, we'll also be reviewing um, board policy 231, which is class trips. 234, which is hiring of administrative supervisory staff. 248, which is sexual harassment. And 204, which is student attendance. And that'll take us right into the IU board, Mrs. Boyle? Uh, the IU board is going to meet on October 15th. That's in Doylestown. Hence no education okay. That's right. <laughs> That's what we're trying. <laughs> okay. The Chamonix Education Foundation, is there anything there for Mr. Feather? No. You, there's usually a paper there. Okay. Uh, PSBA liaison, um, Mr. Puritano. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Okay. All right. You're welcome. Um, just uh, very quickly, uh, ap uh, April. That was good. <laughs> October 11th uh, closes the uh, PSBA elections. If you wish to participate, you can log on to the PSBA website and you can cast votes for the various candidates. Other than that, uh, they've released a synopsis of the budget this year. 
Um, this year's uh, budget includes an uh, increase of 590, let me make sure I get this right, an increase of $596 million, uh, or 1.8% more than the 2018-19 budget, uh, including an extra $160 million increase for basic education subsidy, $50 million for special education, $10 million for career and technical education, and $60 million for school and security uh, grants, which I know we, uh, Mr. Jones has uh, had us apply and participate, and we have uh, received some of them. Uh, in addition, um, there is a additional legislation that was included in the budget that will help re reform the plan com process, which I wish they would have had that five years ago when we really needed it, but um, it's nice to know it's finally getting done. And, and on a uh, positive note in, in politics, believe it or not, the uh, Democrats and Republicans are working together on uh, aiding vocational education which is always something uh, that's good to hear. And uh, it's in the mess of our political uh, theater that goes on on a day-to-day -day basis. It's glad to hear that uh, some are working together to get something positive done. So on that, that concludes my report. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Piritano. Uh, Mr. Allen, Tech School. Thank you. Good evening. Uh, Tech School had our meeting. The joint board met Monday, September 23rd, 6.30 p.m., <laughs> A um, couple quick discussion items, um, since uh, we do have students there, we should be aware. There was the annual water test was done for lead. Uh, 106 faucets, spigots, 98 were acceptable. We only, they were only found eight that were out of compliance, and as of September 23rd, seven of those have been remediated, meaning they were repaired. Uh, one faucet remains. Of course, it's missing parts. Uh, we discussed a couple new courses, nothing, you know, just, just feeling out some, uh, some ideas. One would be vet tech, and uh, there seems to be a lot of interest in sports medicine, athletic trainer, again, just preliminary discussion, you know, looking down the road to see what might be of interest to students. A um, couple board motions um, that I think of note. Uh, we accepted the retirement of the uh, of Nancy Durkin, Administrative Financial Services Secretary, works in the office, 30-year employee of the tech school. So we thank her for her service. Um, thank you. It's moving along. I was doing pretty good here. Professional development. Um, Mr. Jeffrey Cesari, who runs the Outdoor Power Equipment Instructor, uh, we approved him to go, um, apparently he goes every year, but this is for professional development. Um, and this is new this year. Special Education Supervisor Peggy Copra is going to go to the first annual Bucks County Special Education Administrators Conference, uh, Nassau, Princeton. Then some really good news here. Uh, accepted a grant that was provided through Neshaminy School District of the Teen Parenting Grant, <coughs> funded by our Maternity Care Coalition, managed by us here in the, our district, and it will be used for homebound tutoring services through the 2019-2020 year. Um, that one's too long to read, actually. And, and we accepted a donation from the Bucks County Community Foundation of $5,000, and we thank them. Um, always will tech school is always looking for money <laughs> as we all are but uh, it's it's I, I know the group that this came from are uh, professional craftsmen tradesmen through the area who support the school and uh, I believe that concludes concludes my report thank you thank you mr. Allen okay that brings us to the second public comment period Okay. Uh, any future topics? Board comment. Just want to take this opportunity to uh, offer Janet Dockery's family our sincere condolences. Um, both my children were taught by Mrs. Dockery. I always found her to be a uh, very involved teacher. Uh, and um, my uh, children both always enjoyed. Uh, 
you know, the classes, and and um, yeah, she'll be sadly missed. It's a real shame, uh, and uh, just want to let her uh, family know that uh, we're all thinking about them. So thank you. Mr. Main, you want to add something to this uh, report? I was just handed three late editions of, of We Build Future Awards, um, and these three individuals do outstanding work, as, as a lot of our staff does. But Kevin Freeman, Coordinator of Student Affairs at Sandberg, Wendy Robson, music teacher here at Maple Point, and then Bill Snow, a mechanic working over in facilities. Thank you. Anyone else? Motion to adjourn? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes 8 to 0. <laughs>